some of the things that I got on the Black Friday sales. because I look so disheveled because I just woke up like 10 minutes ago but welcome back to another video I wanted to take you with me a bit of a productive vlog because I've got so much studying to smash out so many assignments due so get ready for a big old study vlog started my morning off with some magnesium and B vitamins really the first thing I drink or consume some magnesium I'm gonna head to the gym I've booked a reform Pilates class, so I'm going to do that, and I might do a little bit of an incline walk as well. <gasps> oh, let's smash out the day. <laughs> gonna ignore the frizziness of my hair i just got back from the gym i'm gonna quickly get ready because i'm meeting my friend out for breakfast a coffee bit of a steady date although i'm not gonna have breakfast out i'm gonna make breakfast at home because we're on operation save my money this is like pretty much out i need to get a new one but it's the best concealer i've used it for like three years so good Too faced born this way
I've just made my breakfast. This has been my favorite go-to breakfast of the moment. Just a big plate of fruit, eggs, and avocado. I swear, it's so good. I really gotta get a move on because I have to be at the cafe pretty much now, but food is a priority. Mm, I'm gonna eat those and then head to the cafe and grind some study. Like I have so much uni work to do. It's a bit ridiculous. I've just worked seven to five for the past three days. So I've had no time to do any uni work or I've been like too tired to do it when I got home. So today, day off, grinding. Let me eat this first because I'm absolutely ravenous. <laughs> finally out it has been bucketing down in sydney recently so it's so nice the sun is out okay i'm off to the cafe my room is a complete mess but we're gonna deal with that when i get back let's go get some work done also a bit of a random thought i think i might be intolerant to mangoes which is absolutely devastating because I freaking love mangoes, but like I swear I get the worst bloating and cramps and like gas after I eat a mango. That kind of sucks. Just a random thought for your Saturday morning. It's not Saturday. Just a random thought for your Thursday morning. It is bloody hot in the car right now. I just parked up at the beach and I'm gonna go for a swim because the sun is finally out and I can't pass up the chance to go for a swim. And I'm at the beach already, so it'd be criminal not to, but I just spent the past three or four hours getting some work done. It was pretty productive. I'm just kind of brain dead at the moment. So I'm gonna go for a swim, head home, shower, and then continue studying until tonight. Well, this afternoon, I'm meeting meeting my boyfriend in the city and we're gonna go for a bit of a date night because we haven't done that in a while. So I think the plan is to watch the new Hunger Games movie, get some food, have a bit of a wholesome date night. But until then, I'm going to go for a swim and then study. I'm like so brain dead today. It's not ideal. So the beach does say no swimming because I'm pretty sure the current is like super duper strong, but that's fine. back home had a shower had some lunch having my second coffee of the day cheers to that i wanted to do a quick little haul of some of the things that i got on the black friday sales because who doesn't love a good haul i don't think i had a good sleep last night or had like quality sleep because i've been so tired all day so i apologize for my low energy I did go for a swim though and it was incredible. The beach was closed. Good reason, I swear I almost got swept away. The current was so strong, but I just had like a quick dip and I do feel a lot better. It was just 
It was needed. I swear the ocean just heals you. Most of the things I did get on the Black Friday sales are Christmas presents. But I did get a couple of things for myself. I went to Sephora. My sister really wanted this perfume and I found it on their website, the Versace Dylan Blue perfume. So I got that. And then I actually, I splurged and I got a couple of new makeup products for myself. I've heard really good things about both of these things. The Tarte Sculpt Tape. I think it's like a liquid bronzer. I swear everybody uses this, so... I will give it a go and see if I like it. I probably will. I hope I do because it was like 60 bucks. I also bought my first ever rare beauty product, the Liquid Soft Pinch Blush. I love the packaging. It's very nice. This is, I literally just searched up like the most popular shade in the rare beauty blush and this one came up. The joy yeah the joy i also picked up a new pair of sunnies from am eyewear i love this box as well it's so well made and these are the sunnies i did the little test online and these are the ones that they recommended for my face shape but i'm like obsessed with them i think they really do complement my face shape and they're like really good quality as well so my friend has a perfume, an oil-based perfume company, and their website was also doing a 30% off sale. So I picked up a couple of products. She does perfume inspired by expensive brands, like well-known brands. So I got three, and she also threw in a couple of little sample sizes, which will be fun to try. I already have this one, Brilliance. It's inspired by the... Baccarat Rouge perfume. I can never say it. And then I got two for myself. I got Glam Girl, which is inspired by the Good Girl perfume. I have the full size. I don't know if you can see the little heel right there. I got Opliance, which is inspired by the Black Opium perfume by YSL. Literally my all-time favorite perfume. I'm obsessed with it. I've gone through like two bottles of it. So I got the oil-based version. The last package that has arrived is Glassens. And I'm actually going on another trip next weekend. I know, I just got back from Bali and I'm already going on another trip. But I'm going with my boyfriend's family and we're going to the Cook Islands. I'm so excited. But I wanted to get a couple of pieces for the Cook Islands. So I got this necklace, which I thought was really cute. I need new necklaces and this one's different because it has a black chain I needed a new white kind of linen shirt so i just got a white linen shirt i got this white boob top boob tube top from their super soft range i'm obsessed with the super soft products that glass and sells they're like very good quality i got a pair of brown linen pants again live in brown linen pants during the summer and especially on holidays just with like a bikini it's it's a necessity so i've got a couple of linen pants that i'll be bringing with me that was pretty much my little haul of some of the things that i've gotten on black friday i have a lot of uni work i still need to get done so i'm going to clean my room do some chores i have to do my washing my basket is like overflowing and then keep studying and then i'm gonna date night tonight so might do like a little cleaning montage let's run that <laughs> I still have to do my washing, but it looks so much better than it did before. I've actually got floor space. <laughs> I can see the floor, which is always good.
This is the set of my bed trying to figure out what to wear tonight. When I tell you it has been an afternoon and a half, been an afternoon and a half. I might have fell asleep, but only for like 20 minutes. I feel like I needed it. I needed a nap. My head was like pounding and my vision was starting to blur. And I usually, that's usually like a sign that I'm getting a migraine. So I went straight to sleep, feel so much better. Had to do my makeup like three times because I, it's always when you're in a rush that your makeup just doesn't look how you want it to look. Still don't really like my makeup but i mean i've got literally no time i'm like 40 minutes late so this is kind of what i've <laughs> decided to wear this little white corset top is from kukai and then i've got my new brown linen pants from glassons literally just putting my hair in a bun or like a, a clip i don't have time might just pop on some sneakers and Maybe not that. I will probably just go for my standard black black bag. I feel like I need a necklace. I just don't have a necklace. I'm gonna put on my new Opliance fragrance oil that I hauled earlier. Literally the best. Okay, I'm all ready. I'm gonna quickly get my ass to the train station and head into the city. See you guys at dinner. Go see. So today we're going to see the Hunger Games, the prequel. Very excited. Yeah. Oh, it the song of the song of I don't know. The snake and the bird on the cover. Gold class up yeah. there. Right there. So shall we go to the toilet? Yes. Together. These are our snacks. Freckles. A bunch of different <laughs> snacks from Coles. Mochi, macaroons, and this. Is my favorite thing. <laughs> How would you rate the movie out of 10? I give it a 7 point, 7 to 5 out of 10. <laughs> Why? First half of the movie, phenomenal. When they started to kill each other, the Hunger Games still got to can't spoil it. Before you haven't seen it. doing the Hunger Games. That's not spoiling. It's called the Hunger Games. Yeah, but they don't spoil it. The end started to drag on a little bit. Yeah, but it was But the twist was good. Yes, there was a twist. <laughs> really tired. But I'd give it a 7.75 and it tied in really well with the original Hunger Games. I feel like you did need to kind of watch the original to understand it just a little bit. It just had a whole bunch of secret innuendos. Little secret Easter eggs. Mm. I'd probably give it like an 8 because I really like those sort of movies. Gave yeah, it a good backstory. They did it really well. Good actors. Went in with low expectations, came out very pleased. Very pleased. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>